I had the generator running so I can charge the batteries up. It's been off for a little while. But let's start up here in front. TV's playing so you can see the TV runs and you can hear the surround sound. And that brings us up to Blu-ray DVD player, 225 watt amplifier, hooks to the surround sound. Come down here to the dash. Everything's in good shape. No cracks, no breaks. Everything works. I'll start it up a little bit later. It's automatic leveling system. That raises and lowers the shades. Right here, these two here. You've got automatic shades that lower. That's just a darkening shade. And then you got the blackout shade coming down. Both work well. window has its own dark out shade and blackout that you can pull down while you're driving to so you can see when I turn it on later on you'll be able to see the cameras work they work with the whenever the blinkers are turned on the, there's a camera on each side so the blinker activates whichever side camera the blinkers on and it also has the uh, revert the rearward facing camera so you can watch your in tow vehicle or wherever you're backing up to AM FM cassette stereo all works air conditioning vent system all works it's just gas gas pedal and brake it's an automatic transmission it's an Alice transmission and shift it there. Let's see, there you go. It's got an exhaust brake right there. Cruise control. Cruise set. Lock in. You can lock in your your uh, axles. You got a battery boost right there. That way, if you're if you're engine start battery is down a little bit you can use the house batteries to help start it fog lamps you got the powered mirrors right and left you see them out there powered mirrors the lower ones are set by hand the upper ones are the ones that move by power wipers all work You got an auxiliary fan for the front, which powers up in the windshield. That works off 12 volt when I start it. You got a generator start button here, and also one back by the bedroom at the control center. Your step cover. Which covers up the step while you're driving, so your passenger has a place to put their feet. That all works. And you got an air dump, so when you stop to put your outriggers down, you can dump all your air, get low, and then put your outriggers down so you're not trying to have to go above your airbags. So a little bit of the radio. This is on AM FM. There's a switch right up here. You turn for the radios to work or the TV on the surround sound. Okay, that's about enough of that. So we'll turn it down. We don't have a we don't have a disc in it, so but the disc player does work. 
Okay, let's start this up. This right here. Turn it over, get the wait to start lamp to go off. It's been a long time since I've started it. That was the first start for this year after winter time, so I count that good. The beeping you hear is the air system for the brakes is low, so until it gets up to 160 PSI. It will beep at you and it shows you that the antenna is up right there because I've got the TV antenna up right now. Park brakes on. I don't have my seatbelt on. This is your rear air. It's building at idle. This is your front air building at idle. They go slow. There's two tanks on this thing so it takes a while to build up. You can rev it up a little bit to speed it up a little bit. Tachometer works. Fuel, transmission temperature, voltage for the batteries. This is the actual mileage on the motorhome. We are the third owner, I believe it is, of this. The man we bought it from, bought it from a cell in Iowa, or excuse me, Illinois, and brought it down to Southern Missouri where we purchased it. Got your engine temperature, oil, tech gauge. Automatic transmission. You just push button you for reverse you put it into reverse neutral drive or you can select your own gear and it will not let you go put it into a lower gear if the rpm is too high you can also if you get get the book out and the manual for this transmission you can change your shifting patterns with this mode button show you that the air conditioner works over here We'll put her down on cold and turn it on max AC and turn the blowers on. Nice cold air. Blows right up at you. It's also over here. You got two of them over there. And you got another one on this side over here. Blows a lot of cold air on you while you're driving down the road, that's for sure. Heat as well. You hear the little vacuum meter, all the all the uh, vents are vacuum operated and there's a little vacuum pump out front. We'll keep watching this for a little bit, show you that the air does go off. When it gets to around 60, 65 or a little bit more. There it went, and we're at 66 or 67 on both. That'll go all the way up to 115 15 PSI. I've got the shades drawn for the camera view because it was so bright out here that it was flashing out my camera. Now, there's the reverse camera right there showing you what's behind you. And it does have sound back there, so you can turn the you can turn it on in case you want to check your lights and somebody's back there telling you whether your lights are on or off. We keep it turned down. And then when you come over here, I'm going to turn my left turn signal on. The, the screen is completely full on that, but for some reason with the camera is only showing it because of the resolution I guess but the whole camera is on now I'm gonna go to the right same way with that one the whole screen is on you're seeing the door right there the whole screen is on correctly it's just the shutter speed I guess is messing with the 
hurts of the camera. Let me see if I back off if it'll make a difference. No, it doesn't seem to. I'll have to change my shutter speed and take this one again, maybe. There's the camera. Left camera. It just looks dull, but it is not dull. It's fully bright. There's the air brake button for your park brake. Cup holder. Got a, another little containment right here by the passenger side seat. These are all six-way electric, by the way, on both seats. So they're fully adjustable. Another panel right here beside the door when you come in. You can turn your storage lights on right here. This is to turn your uh, patio awning to either extend it or retract it. If it does work, I'll retract it right now because I've got it out. So I'm going to just extend it back out again. You can adjust it right there where the silver part is in order to lower the front of it down. And you've got a the patio awning off, so if you don't want to accidentally try to extend it or retract it, you can shut that on and off. Porch light over the top of the door. Turn it on and off got an entry step you can turn that on and off so right now we'll turn it on so that whenever you shut the door let me make sure I'm correct one of those turns it on and off so you got whenever you shut the door it retracts the step automatically whenever you open it it brings it out so we shut it off while we're not in transit so it doesn't open and close all the time you got a battery cutoff switch so that you can if you got your batteries on a trickle charger or something you can actually shut this off and it shuts it off to the home without having to shut the masters off down at the batteries ceiling light turns the ceiling light on like the one I showed you in the bedroom turns that on and off and we'll come up here and you got a little extra Here's the step cover. You can also turn on and off or move forward and reverse like you can over there. In the center for when you're traveling. You've got a map light, which is just a reading light over the top of the You got past your shade you can control the step lights from here they go on and off right there and you past your shade so that you can it lowers raises and lowers here right there so if they got them this thing does have airbags it's got four airbags on the suspension We'll just start over here. Sofa pulls out into like a like a, a small sleeper for small children. All of the shades work. Like I said, every one of the every one of the windows have shades on each one of them. cabinetry above all above this this is in the slide out in the kitchen front room area extra packing foam for moving cabinetry can good area
start from over here on the front side. These are more cabinets up above the area. It's got a bottom right up there. Same way on these two. They're shallow. This is where the controller is for the or the uh, LVDT up on the roof for your cable, which is obsolete. It will have to be able to use it. You will have to change those controls up there. We never watched TV, so we never messed with it. But it is an auto tracking system, so you can be going down the road and it will track the signal. Working. We took those shelves down because we never used them. So that way we didn't have to worry about them bouncing around while we're traveling. Same way with that one. You can put them up if you like. This one we kept in there. And then go down to the sink. Remove these so you can see your sink. It's got a half sink on that side. Full sink on this side. Raise up. Locks for you a little bit of extra room for a sink. GFCI plug-in right there you can use. Oh, I did forget to show this over here. It's got a full full drawer here, full cabinet here. And we've got a little desk set up here for you for it to pull out. So you can put a computer desk and a chair right here. Got a little pull out right there. Under sink cabinet space. All the underneath sinks. And the stove and the oven, they do work. We just never used them on the, my wife didn't like using the gas stove. microwave also runs off the uh, inverter if you need to if you're out boondocking upper cabinet a little drawer up underneath here that you can lock we've made it so you can lock it keep it rolling out it's got a uh, carbon monoxide and LP sensor right there Furnace is right up underneath the there. Furnace is actually back behind that. And then here's the refrigerator. I think it's a eight and a half cubic feet is what it is with an ice maker. We've got the ice maker turned off because we never use it. We'd rather have the space for freezers. It runs on AC, LP gas, and your 12 volt. You got side doors for pantry. Mm -hmm. There's the big one. And there's a smaller one right here. And there's three drawers underneath it here. It does have a central vac system on it. It's got the hose and the hose holes will reach all the way from one end to the other. We added a uh, 20 amp 
plug-in so if you want to use electric heaters while you're boondocking or out and not wanting to use your LP gas up we put in a 20 amp breaker or um, excuse me 20 amp receptacle and then closure between the bathroom and the front room so you can isolate the bathroom from the rest of the rest of the house bathroom it used to have a tall toilet in it we took that out and made it a shorter toilet self fills and flushes right there this is the treatment for your tank that we use cabinet and this goes into the the back of the washer dryer combination water hoses over here plug-ins over here and you got a full cabinet up above you can use shades just push them up and they stay all the doors were another cabinet we got a spare spare for the drain on the shower if you ever need it haven't needed it yet full-length mirror this medicine cabinet I'll show the information for here for the coach right there I'll take a picture of that later on and put it in with the video and there's a sink cabinet for the sink GFI plug-ins 12 volt lights drawer drawers another little pull out like in the kitchen under cabinet under sink cabinet holds quite a bit there's a lot of storage in this and there's another little storage container right there at the side it's got central air it's also or central heat rather it's also got central air that is zoned there's two air conditioners in here this is the it's got a little seat there you can use or put stuff on it let's go in here to the bedroom let's walk into the bedroom first off this is your air conditioner it's a two zone air conditioner five button this is your start for your your uh, heater down below in the water compartment where you where you hook up your water and your sewer line that's got a little heater in it and this is for your generator you can start and stop your generator from here it means it's active I've got it turned on right now you got your tank test everything works your water pump turn your water pump on if you're boondocking water heater on 12 volt if you want to run it on off your batteries for 12 volt heat you can turn it on here you got a heater for your 120 volt and you can run them both together if you want to make the water heat faster but you don't really need to because this will heat the water very fast and you got your slide outs your bedroom slide out here and your front room slide out here and then you've got a electric monitoring system so this is where you turn on your turn on your charger and your inverter I've just got the charger on right now you turn the inverter on right here whenever you want to boondock and run the run the stuff off the batteries and then down here your smart EMS if you're running off of a, uh, a smaller uh, voltage than our amperage than 50 amp you can adjust this so you can run on a smaller amperage and it will actually shut off different stuff to maintain that amperage so you don't go over the amperage and it works the same on the 50 amp as well so if you go over the amperage on everything you're running which we've never done even with the electric heaters running it will shut off stuff to maintain that amperage that you've got it set at you come in here 
you've got a fan over the bed that you can turn on works that's low this is high light switch for the bedroom and this one turns on turns on and off the light up in front so that whenever you're in bed you want to turn the light on up there so you can see you don't have to fumble for lights you just turn it on and it turns the light on up front and the bedroom it's got a queen bed in it bedding is included got a little, nice little place to hang wardrobe down here it's got a DVD player and none of the DVD players were here when we bought the home. We added it to it. It's got lights underneath reading lamps. So if you're a reader, you just wanted a little bit of light. They shut off with the switch down below here. Another plug-in. And separately, yes. Then there's your 12 volt and 220 breaker systems. You see it's got a another TV in here I can't remember the sizes of them I'll try to look them up and get them on on a edit later you got then another door that closes off the bedroom to the bathroom and it does latch in place so you can't pull it with without dropping it down both of those do that and here's the washer dryer combination works really good it's small and it does take a long time to wash and dry, but it does work and it keeps you from having to go to a laundromat. A little drawer down here you can keep stuff in. And then here's the bigger closet. Let me try to get out far enough you can see it. There's where you can hang your full size ward wardrobe. And there's the central back hose for the central back that's up front. More storage. Drawers. Extra bedding. cabinet space and this is the end of our tour for this area I'll show you the roof it's got surround sounds in the front lights for the front it's got your vent for your air conditioning on both sides front light air conditioner this brand spanking new air conditioner we didn't we installed it and haven't ran it other than testing it because we haven't been out with it since we installed it but it is 15,000 BTU the old one was 13.5 travel on down we've got more of the vents lights we've got the lights all shut off so it doesn't affect the camera fantastic fan we've got one here and one in the bathroom uh, they do not have the uh, moisture sensors on them, but they do have covers over them so you can still use them in the rain. And you can also use them while you're traveling down the road. Travel on in, let you see there's no leaks anywhere. Vent for here. No leaks in the roof anywhere. This air, air conditioner here is 13,500 BTU for the bedroom. It does the bedroom and the bathroom and that's all it does. It's on zone two. 
the front room is on zone one. Very easy to swap swap around. This is the front front uh, steering tire. It's, it's a 2018 steering tire. This is the tread. It's got a lot of life left in it. Both sides are the exact same. There's no there's no cracks in it anywhere. We've got them actually lifted up off the tires. So you don't have the flat spots on it. It does come with the tire covers, such as they are. You see the treads on the tires here, very big too. A lot of life. Now these are 2017s. Touch back here, you can get the engine running. A little protector for whenever you're got a pull behind. Got a Magnum 2000, 2000 watt inverter controllers for it, extra space, it does have a cover for the, for the uh, hitch in the back, all your batteries, four six volt batteries for your, for your uh, home itself, and then two 12 volt thousand amp batteries for your you're starting on your uh, engine. You've got disconnects for both. That's for you. Oh, uh, oh, uh. Water heater. Your water heater runs on on uh, gas, LP gas, 112 or 20 or 12 volt, 120 volt or 12 volt works really good and that is a uh, 10 gallon I believe it is which we can take showers as hot as you want and not run out of hot water this is the back of the the uh, furnace this is the back of the refrigerator got fully open under cabinet storage there's your uh, central back right there where you can change your where you can clean up the house there. Got all that. Got another through that's the same one, just a different door, but it does have a slide out. It comes out. It comes way out, matter of fact. That's how far out it goes. And it goes in both directions. It also goes out the other end. The other two doors on the other side, you can access that other side, but it is underneath of the uh, front room slide out. All latches. All these doors do have a, a, a gas shock on them. They latch very well. This here, one side fill, you can fill up the diesel on both, both sides. This is the access to your generator in the front of the coach. See, this is the front of the coach. You just pull down and it hinges down out of the way. It's 8,000 8, watt Onan generator. That's what you heard running earlier. And it does power everything, absolutely everything in the coach at the same time and we'll handle it all. That's just a little look on the inside there for your air conditioner, fan, the little register vents and all that. There's the air compressor right there that I was telling you about that all it runs the vacuum system for all your registers. Your horn down below.
just lift that up push it back into place latch them back down got another control area and this is this control area here is for all your subsystems for the for the uh, driving transmission controllers and all that up inside of here washer tank pretty good size washer tank and just a little extra storage I've got extra transmission fluid for the power jacks they're hydraulic underneath the slide outs this one is a gear drive on the inside the one in the bedroom is a cable drive it's got four cables on it Here's your propane tank and your water filter. It does have a water filter on it. You can put it in. It's got a uh, a uh, 75 pound, or excuse me, uh, yeah, 75 gallon rather, 75 gallon LP tank. Let's see if you can see that. Right here. How big it is. There it is. That little pressure regulator right there. And these are the doors for that I was showing you. It comes with all the all the sewer line, water line, regulator. And also, if you notice those pieces over there, that's a real fancy leveling system for all of your uh, uh, sewer line. Uh, it also has extra extra seals for the slide outs if you ever need them. We had to replace two of them whenever we bought the unit. So I just bought extra to have for the rest. This is for the, this is for the slide out. Or excuse me, for the water system. Let me go shut the motor off so we can hear this better. Okay, this is your water system. Hook your water into here. You can turn it from the tank, which is way down here. That's your fresh water tank for when you're boondocking. You got a pressurized tank so you can clean out the gray tank or the black tank. You got both valves for your black tank and your gray tank. Hook up for your for your uh, sewer line right here. All this, this just comes out. You can put it in through there. Water line comes in right through here. Or you can hook up a fill system over here. Got an outside shower. It all works. Fresh water spigot. You can turn on your water pump from here. Storage lights. You can also check your tanks from right here also. Now it shows for a Sani Clean, but the Sani Clean was taken out before we got it. I guess they had a lot of problems with them whenever they put them on here. Uh, it just a, it's a sewage churner is all it was and I guess they had a lot of problems so they went ahead and took it out so we haven't used it this is your electrical connectors this is for the main house electrical the 220 50 amp and we've got all the all the adapters you need to go clear down to 15 amp matter of fact cable you hook your telephone and cable up right there if you're in a in a campground that has it. You got an extra little plug in right there. And then this right here is a switching device that changes it from a, a 110 to 220 to 12 volt, whichever you're using. It just does it automatically, whichever. But if you plug it in while you're on 12 volt, it will automatically switch to your 110. We pulled all the little awnings out over the top of the windows so you can see that as well. Uh, we didn't pull the
come up here, you got a little hook that we keep right there. And then there's a little latch on this one that you have to make sure is in the up position right there. Because you want to lock that while you're traveling down the road. And then you just pull them down. You grab a hold of it on this one. You grab a hold of the strap. And then there's little arms that come over and just hook right there. Same way with this one arm that comes over and hooks and then you let go of that and it holds itself the rest of them on the they're all got a strap and then a latch you put the strap onto and that's what holds it down but this one's actually got legs to hold itself down and this one holds itself out because it's electric and it stays that way